How's it going guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at you guys today with the Franklin Armory AR-15 chambered in 5.56 NATO. This guy is a whole lot of fun because why? It's got one of my most favorite firearm accessories that you can add and that is a binary trigger which as you can see on this little receiver does have that little engraving to represent binary two shots that is a whole lot of awesomeness right there and then of course you can see it very well on the reverse where the actual sticker is that franklin armory has added and what's cool about this is the fact that it does come with the trigger factory installed from franklin armory so very nice and today uh, it does come optics ready but i did go ahead and throw on one of our sig sour romeo msr red dots they're good little red dots i like them quite a bit but uh, in case you guys aren't too familiar with what the binary trigger is, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know I'm a fan of them and <laughs> like to show them off quite a bit. Let me just show you guys exactly what all this thing can do. So let's go ahead and take a couple of shots in semi here. So everybody's, you know, should be pretty familiar with that. And you'll hear the reset of the trigger. That nice, loud, audible click. That right there signifies that the hammer has been reset, ready to send that next round down range. Now, when I have it in the third position binary mode here, you're gonna hear another bang because the reset is the hammer going forward again. So let's try it really quick. So I'm gonna pull, pull the trigger to the rear once, and then release. Very cool. Boom, just like that, guys. And it is a lot of fun to do that. Of course, it's a lot of fun to mag dump and just you know run through rounds and things like that. But I like them because typically when I'm engaging multiple targets, right now I just got Mr. Hand Select set up down there, but typically whenever I'm running multiple targets, whether it be our steel plates or whatever, I usually like to double tap, right? So it's usually just something like, there we go, easy day. But if I throw it in the binary, I think you can hear that little bit of a difference in speed. So very cool. Now, of course, a lot of training on semi, you can be just that fast without having to worry about the reset of the trigger being your next round sent down range, right? Sure, that's completely fine and well, but I do like this device because it just makes that application a little bit easier, right? So let's try that one more time. We've got a few rounds left here. So let's go semi double tap cool and then let's go binary double tap that one sounded a little bit closer i don't know might need to bring out the shot timer here and try a couple of comparisons let's do that all right i've got my handy little shot timer on me today now and no surprises here i'm going to be right here at the ready the moment that i hear the beep i'm going to engage the target sending two rounds down range on target and i'm already going to have it flipped into whatever position i'm shooting it in so the only thing that we're measuring here is trigger pull speed and of course release in the binary so let's just see how quickly we can shoot uh, shoot two rounds down range right now three seconds on the timer the semi all right we're picking up two shots 0.54 seconds all right very cool and just so we have a clear reading let's do it one more time in semi and then we'll take that right there all right three seconds already in semi 0.48 a little bit quicker that time okay we'll take the best of those two now let's go let's go binary here and let's just see. Gonna go three seconds, flipping into that third position. 0.37, very cool. And let's try it one more time. Okay, 0.38, nice. So a little bit faster with the binary. If I can get my molly loop to cooperate. Well, I got two rounds left. Let's just do it one more time in semi here and we'll see, take the best of uh, the three on semi. So remember 0 0.38, 0 0.37 for binary. <laughs> 0.48 again, and I think that's what my other one as well was. So if I go back and review, there we go. Yep, 0.48. Yeah, it looks like it lost my other ones already, so no big deal. But yeah, so the binary is naturally just a little bit quicker. Pretty cool. Now, 
accuracy is another big thing, right? So sending rounds downrange quick is fun and all, but if you're not hitting your target, that doesn't really matter. And for the sake of time today, we've actually done this little experiment with a maximum PDX in semi and binary. Two targets, four shots on each target on semi and binary. Let's actually cut over to that footage and let's see what happens. All right, let's try this drill real quick. Four on each target, semi-auto. So that was 3.65 seconds. Looks like my shots are a little low. Let's take a look really quick here. So one, two, one, two, three, four, three, four. It's kind of bringing that all around. So I'm gonna run that same drill. Let's try it again in a binary and see if my shots are less accurate, quicker, whatever it might be. And again, that was 3.65 seconds. All right, same distance, same drill, but we're gonna go in binary. All right. Nice. 2.74 seconds. Let's take a look at the hits. I've got one, two, one, two, three, four. Perfect. These two right here on this guy are pretty much stacked right on top of each other. Then again, I don't know if that was one and two. Maybe that was one and three or one and four. Who knows? Still a little low. That could just be my height over bore at this distance. One, two, three, four. So binary, I do believe was faster and also more accurate. Then again, I'm only doing this for about maybe 15 yards or so. I'm liking the binary trigger in a tactical application. Granted, I've got stationary targets that aren't shooting back at me and I'm at a stationary uh, position, but from that little drill right there, I don't know, take it for what it's worth. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So that not only was a fun little drill, but also I think an informative one. And anytime I get to send rounds down range for like a scientific experiment, then you know, why not? So I wanna know your thoughts and opinions on the binary trigger and whether or not you think it has home in a tactical application. But of course, if you're Lucas Aimbotkin over at T-Rex Arms, I already know your opinion. So uh, there's that. Also Lucas at me, 1v1 Ryan, not me on Call of Duty. I'm really bad at it. Anyway. So guys, this is again the Franklin Armory M4 is what they're calling it, uh, AR-15. Based off of their FAI-15 lower, you'll notice it is just Franklin Armory AR-15 lower. And the upper and the lower are made from a 7075 T6 aluminum, high quality stuff. Now, let's just go ahead and start right at the muzzle over here. Do have your standard A2 birdcage flash hider. Nice, not bad. And then also to what they're calling an LTW contour barrel, lightweight I presume, and a mid-length gas system, which I'm a huge fan of. Does It is chambered in 5.56 NATO, one and seven twist. Uh, Picatinny rail runs the full length of the rifle right up here, so it is optics ready. Does not come with the SIG MSR that you see right here. This is just one of the optics I had, what I'm calling one of my range optics. Uh, for these guns that don't have one that comes with it, but no big deal I honestly don't mind when companies don't include optics or whatever because I typically throw my own stuff on there Anyway, I have like a whole box full of just aftermarket sites or OEM sites that I Never did anyway, so it's just taking up more room. So I honestly it doesn't bother me. I get it I'm gonna throw on you know some sort of red dot or optic anyway 15 inch M lock rail. I do like that it's M lock because RIP key mod. M lock is just a great attachment system. And of course, you can, you see all the rail space that you have or M lock attachment space. You can have just about any type of attachment at any location around the clock here. So if you're looking for lights, lasers, grips, whatever you want, you can. Perfect. Coming back a little bit further. You've got, of course, the binary trigger. Standard A2 grip, which you guys know if you've been a, uh, watching this for, or watching this channel for any length of time, I am uh, not a huge fan of the standard A2 grip. So that would probably one of the, be the first things that I would take off and change out, but it's doable, it's fine. Same thing with the M4 style stock, six position though. It is collapsible, adjustable to whatever length of pull that you want, whatever's comfortable for the shooter. But again, for everything that I think you're getting, I think you're getting one heck of a bang for the buck when you check out the price at classicfirearms.com. Just search Franklin Armory AR-15 or what they're calling their M4 uh, is what we have in the ad. Very cool stuff and a whole lot of fun. And it does ship with one, I think this is ASC GI style mag, 30 round mag. And I think I've only got like maybe 10 or 15 rounds in here. So I'll save that towards the end. 
But I do have another one of my range mags here. This is one of the Lancer mags here. These things are a whole lot of fun. This is, uh, I was using the FDE one earlier. This is the smoke colored one. And these Lancer mags are super cool. Check them out. But yeah, guys, I think we can go ahead and end it off there with this video. I did talk about the Franklin Armory AR-15 with that 16 inch one and seven twist rate barrel, mid-length gas system, awesome. 15 inch M-lock rail, Picatinny run at the top for your optics, M4 style stock, mil-spec buffer tube. I think I forgot to hit on that. It is a mil-spec, awesome. And also your A2 style grip. But the best part is that binary trigger going into that third position. Makes those double taps nice and easy. Nice. Actually, it's not even the mag it comes with. It's one of these ASC GI 30 round mags. Orange follower lets you know when that guy's nice and empty. You see it nice and bright and orange in there. <laughs> but yeah, guys, very thrilled with this gun. Super cool stuff made right here in the United States of America. So very awesome. But the last gun I want to talk to you guys about is our current giveaway, which if you haven't seen this video yet, go check it out because we got all sorts of goodies that we're giving away in collaboration with Premier Body Armor. Yes, our friends with Premier Body Armor, you're getting so much good stuff and that LWRC Reaper with that EOTech package. Oh. Go check it out, guys. Don't miss out. And guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. If you're not already subscribed or getting notified whenever we come out with uh, new videos, go ahead and hit that little bell. Hit that subscribe button if not already. And God bless, guys. We'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.